me go down here and say this is my 7.3. So the loan is 230,100,56. Now since it's a loan, we're going to use the present value. This is 1 minus 1 plus i to the exponent of negative n over i. We need the monthly payments. No, we have them. That's 55,000. So we said x is 55,000. i is 9%. We're looking for the n. Our p, we already have it. So that's going to be 230, 100, comma, 5, 6. Is equal to 5, 5 into 1 minus 1 plus. 9% over 12 to the negative n. So I'm going to just use negative n because I don't want the number of years. I want the number of payments in months. Okay, so step number one, it's up to you how you're going to solve this. You can start by dividing both sides by the 5.5. Okay, so that's going to be 230100,56. It's fine. I'll divide by 5.5 and then I multiply by 9% over 12. It's the same thing. Eh? So this must give us, or you want us to subtract one straight away. We have negative 1 plus 9% over 12 to the negative n. Okay, so when I simplify my left hand side, I'm getting 0, comma. 686227 is equal to when uh, let me use a negative, it's fine. This is going to be negative 1,0075 to the negative n. So divide both sides by the negative. We're going to end up with a positive answer and then going to use the logs. Okay, 6227 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 7, 5 to the negative n. So when you use the logs, saying negative n is equal to the log of 1, 0, 0, 7, 5. This is going to be 0, 6, 8, 6, 2, 2, 7. Okay, so negative n is equal to negative 50,39. Divide both sides by that, we have 50,39. Positive. The question was asking how many payments will this person take? Now, this person is going to make 50 payments of 5,500. But then there's going to be an extra payment. So, which means it's going to be 51 payments that needs to be made for the loan to be settled. Okay, so that is question number seven. Okay. Then uh, question number eight, they want us to get the first derivative from first principles. So this question was a bit tricky, but it was easier, like it's, it's quick, okay? So f of x is 1 over x. We need to determine f of x plus h, which is 1 over x plus h. Where there is x, replace with x plus h. So we're saying the limit as h tends to 0, the formula is f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So limit as h tends to 0, we're going to have the 1 over x plus h minus the 1 over x over h. So these are fractions. I prefer using the crisscross. Okay, open that up. So I'm going to say limit. At h tends to 0, that's going to be x minus this bracket x plus h over this x plus h into x. Why don't I just open it up once? Okay, so that's going to be x squared plus xh, this and that. Okay, but then I'm dividing it by h. Okay, open the brackets on top. And the brackets on top so the limit as h tends to zero that's going to be x minus x plus h over x squared plus x h i'm not gonna multiply through because i'm seeing something cancelling out so that has cancelled 
I'll be left with H alone. So this H can also cancel this H. Okay? Okay, we can go step by step. Because someone will say, but now, why are you canceling at the same time? And, okay, it's fine. What's going on? Okay, so we're saying the limit. Limit as h tends to zero. We have h over is what's happening. My pen is acting up. Okay, let me just write here. H tends to zero. Say h over x squared plus xh over h. So this h cancels that. And then we just substitute x with a, h with a zero. So you're going to be left with 1 over x squared. OK. Then uh, 8.2, they want us to find the derivative of this. So start by simplifying the square root of 4 is a 2. This 6 is reduced by that, so which means it's x cubed plus root 2. And that's going to be x squared. And then when I find the derivative, that's going to be 6x squared plus 2 root 2x. That's what I get. Then here, what we need to do first, split up. That's going to be 3x to the 4 over x squared minus, we have 4x squared over x squared plus 6 over x squared. Simplifying that, it would be the same as 3x squared minus 4 plus 6x to the negative 2. And then for me to find the first derivative of g, that's going to be 6x. It's a constant. It falls away. Minus 12x to the negative 3. So this is our answer here. Remember, the question never asked you to give your answer with a positive exponent. So just leave it the way it is. And then you're good to go. Okay, so that is question number 8.2.2. Then 8.3. 8.3. We're given the equation of a tangent to this graph at x1 is given by this. Determine the values of b and c. So just like we looked at that question of functions, when a tangent and a graph meet, the two will be equal to each other Okay, at the point of meeting. So let's start by getting the coordinates at the meeting point. And I'm going to use x as a 1. Okay? And use this equation here. So when I replace x with a 1, y is going to be 9 times 1 minus 9, which is a 0. So which means the two are meeting at a point, 1 and 0. Then I can get these numbers and substitute them there. Okay? What is my f of 1? f of 1. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So that's going to be 3 times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. This must give us a 0. Is that true? Yes, because we say the x and y will be the same at that point. So it's going to be 3 plus b plus c is a 0, which means b plus c must give us a negative 3. I'll call this equation number 1. Then um, I can look at maybe the first derivative, which is the gradient, because I know the gradient of this line is a 9, which means even the gradient of this function must also be a 9 at that same point. So let me change this and say my first derivative f prime of x is going to be 6x plus b because c is a constant it falls away but the x is what the x has to be a one and the y has to be zero. No, no no the x has to be a one and then the gradient has to be a nine so six times one plus a b must give us a nine because remember this is the gradient this is also the gradient. 
so which means b is going to be 9 minus 3 sorry 9 minus 6 which is a 3 then uh, if i put my 3 there is going to be 3 plus c is equal to negative 3 move the 3 that side which means c is going to be a negative 6. so that's how i've done that so start by getting the points here substitute these points into f get the first equation then get the first derivative compare it with the gradient <music>